The reality of prep is that it's not always going to be easy. Back to the movie selection. Uh, what is it called? How to be single. How to be single. I think we've mastered that. This is, but, this is the movie right now you guys are watching. <laughs> yeah, this is, <laughs> this is uh, when you come to our YouTube channels and watch our daily vlogs. <laughs> it's Friday night and this is our turn up. So here we go. Again, with the egg whites and rice, this combo is just too good. This is just four egg whites and a half a cup of rice. The good thing about this combo is you can make it savory or sweet because white rice and egg whites really have no flavor. Um, since I have a crazy sweet tooth, I usually always make mine sweet. So this morning, I'm going to add a little stevia, a little cinnamon, and some almond butter. And here is the finished product. So it's 3 o'clock and I am finally getting my life together for the day. Amanda and I have just been working all morning um, and then we finally stepped out into the sunlight to go do some cryotherapy. I ate about an hour ago so I'm starting to feel a little bit hungry. I'm going to do a little bit of a snack before I go to the gym. My pre-workout snack is one rice cake and 10 grams of D's Naturals fluff butter. The gooey banana foster flavor is bomb. 10 grams because that's all that was left. <laughs> Pre-workout today is our NLA for her, her amino burner, which is basically aminos and a fat burner in one. Um, it's been my go-to before morning cardio, but I'm gonna do another scoop before my lift today. I like that it's not heavily packed with stimulants, so I can do a, a scoop in the morning, and then I can do another scoop later before my lift, and not feel crazy. Through the wastelands, through the highways. So I just got back from the gym. It was leg day and I was having a really good workout up until the very last exercise. I was doing seated leg curls and I was mid rep and all of a sudden just got this awful shooting pain into my knee, which is really bizarre. I never ever have knee problems. I felt it tweak. I felt something shoot into my knee and I had to stop the exercise. Luckily, like I said, it was my last exercise of my workout. So I stood up from the machine and I could barely put weight on my knee and it hurt to bend it. So uh, naturally, I started freaking out a little bit. My mind just automatically raced to, oh my God, I only have four and a half weeks left of prep. I can't be injured. What am I gonna do? What happens if I can't squat? What happens if I can't do leg day? And I'm immediately, what if, what if, what if? And as I was leaving the gym, I saw my neighbor Sam. I think just a mixture of being freaked out that I was having this horrible knee pain and freaked out like, what if this stops me from being able to train for the rest of my prep? And she asked me how my workout was and I just broke down and started crying. I told her my body's shutting down, the, everything's going wrong. This is the reality of prep. It's not always pretty, emotions are high. My anxiety levels have been higher. That's why self-care is just so important. I know a lot of you have requested a video on some of the things that I do for self-care and the things that I do to help manage my anxiety. And one thing I've been doing is taking time every morning after cardio to sit and meditate for five to 10 minutes. It helps to clear your head, start my day on the right foot and kind of balance out my mindset and be present in the moment. That's one strategy that's been really helpful and beneficial for me. I do plan on making a full video where I talk through just different strategies that have worked for me, managing my anxiety level, so that will be coming. My knee is actually feeling a little bit better, so I don't really know what I did. I'm just gonna put some ice on it and take it easy for the rest of the night. Um, so fingers crossed, it's nothing serious. I don't think that it is. Not every day is easy. Prep isn't easy all the time. Prep isn't pretty all the time. There's gonna be tears. There's gonna be days when you're on a high and then there's gonna be days when you're on a low and you gotta just learn to ride with it. Know that it's okay to cry. <laughs> Don't expect yourself to be perfect. Don't expect everything to go as planned because if you expect everything to go as planned, you're only gonna set yourself up for failure. Capitalize on those days where you're feeling amazing and then on the days where you're feeling weak and things don't go as planned, push past them and stay strong and that's exactly what I intend to do. Till I get up. I'm reading and responding to all of the comments on my overcoming anxiety video that I posted the other day 
and I really just want to say thank you to everyone who took the time out to comment and leave me a message saying that you can relate in some way or that the video helped you in some way. That's the real reason why I share the things that I share. It's not always easy talking about your struggles and making yourself vulnerable and putting yourself out there for the world to see but just hearing that you guys can relate and that you may have found some kind of support or some kind of help just from my video alone is just enough validation for me to know that I'm doing the right thing in sharing these kinds of things with you guys so honestly your words mean the world to me thank you just a little glimpse of today's gym outfit I have um, one of the older Live Fit crops on, but still one of my favorites, uh, Nike Pros that were a hand-me-down from Amanda, so thank you, Amanda, and my Flyknit Racers. These are probably my favorite training shoes right now. When I get back from the gym, I am going to film uh, my shoe collection for you guys. That was a request on one of my last videos. I have lots of gym sneakers. It's one of my addictions, but I guess there are worse addictions that you can have. next few minutes are clips from my glute focus workout that I did today. I wanted to keep the focus primarily on glutes and hamstrings because I was still feeling some discomfort in my knee. As you'll be able to see, there's still plenty of exercises that you can do to really target the glutes and hamstrings without putting extreme pressure on your knees. So I hope that you guys enjoy the footage and if you give this workout a try, please comment below and let me know. that I show off my sneaker collection. Now if I showed you all of my shoes that would probably take up an entire video. So I decided to just show my top 10 sneaker faves right now. My current obsession right now are the Nike Flyknit. These Nike Roches are a great cardio shoe. They are not my favorite to train in but they are quite comfortable for cardio, hiking, things like that. This would be top pair number four. I'm honestly not quite sure what these shoes are called. So if you know, go ahead and comment below. Top pick number five would be these Nike Air Maxes, which are actually children's shoes. I found them in the kids section. They're a size three and a half in kids and they fit perfect. My next two top pair are going to be Air Maxes that I custom ID'd on Nike.com. Pair number seven, also an Air Max 90 that I custom ID'd on Nike.com. These are actually one of my favorite pair of shoes that I forgot that I had until I started pulling out a bunch of my sneakers to film for you guys. These are the Nike KD 6s, I believe. And last but definitely not least, clearly nothing special, but my Chuck will always be number one. And that is going to wrap up today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys next time.